Daya. And today I'm going to show you my classic red lip look. I personally love a red lip. I love doing like a bold lipstick look in general just because I am quite lazy and I feel like it gives your makeup a pop without having to put too much effort into it. So keep watching to see how I achieve this look and stick to the end because I will show you my favorite red lipsticks. So I'm going to show you my favorite red lipsticks. The weather at the moment is super dark, even though it's the middle of the day. 
um, really cloudy and overcast. So I don't know how this video is going to go and whether you'll be able to really see the differences between all of these lipsticks because they are really similar, but there are slight variations between all of them. The first one is the MAC. Ruby Woo, I think. It is such a classic red. I think I got some limited, like special edition packaging or something. Um, so it's super pretty packaging. Um, I think a lot of people do have this red lipstick. It is a classic red, in my opinion. It's just a really good one to have in your bag at all times. Not too warm and not too cool. See, it's just such a good red and it lasts a really long time because it's really matte. It's really pigmented, obviously, because it's a MAC lipstick. And most of the time I like eat with it and only have to reapply like once. Next, the next one is the NARS Pure Matte Lipstick in Vesuvio. This was probably one of my first red lipsticks and I just love it so much. It's quite a slim stick which makes it really easy to apply for any lip shape and the color again is a really true red. It's probably more on the cooler side. It definitely has more of a cooler undertone to it. It's more of a satin finish in comparison to the MAC one. Just glides on really nicely. With most lipsticks, I tend to apply it on and then use my finger to blend it out a little bit. And with this one in particular, I think it looks really nice if you blur it out around the edge a lot. I always like to go a little bit outside of my lip line just to give the lips a fuller effect. So it definitely feels more hydrating than the MAC one. And I feel like with the NARS one, I can layer it how I like. There's a little bit more versatility with that one, I find. My lips are sore already from... <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of it. But... I feel like you can't not have a Chanel red lipstick. This one is the Rouge Allure Velvet in number 38. I love this. And this one is definitely more hydrating, less opaque than the other two, and definitely has more of a pinky undertone, as you can see. For that reason, this one does have a tendency to bleed a little more than the others so if i want more of a full red lip look and i want to use this lipstick i sometimes would use a lip liner but other time because it is so hydrating and it's quite light sometimes i just roughly blot it like this to give more of a natural red lip look and then i blot it with the lipstick as well See, I feel like that has a completely different vibe. Three more to go. Now we are stepping away from lipsticks and going on to more lip paints. Like this one from Charlotte Tilbury. The Hollywood Lips in the color Screen Siren. This one is also quite a pink undertone. Like if you apply it really lightly, it's got more of like that berry red. Especially in comparison to the Ruby Woo, which was the first one. There's definitely more blue in there. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. They always come in such beautiful colors and especially these, they're so easy to apply. Love. How nice is that? Okay. Next one, can't leave out the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. I don't really wear lip paints anymore, but if I was going to wear one, it should be it. It is just incredibly pigmented and so bold. Literally, wow, look at that. 
in comparison to all the other ones it is like a full on red so with this one I definitely like to be really precise And it literally just glides on. Look at how pigmented that is. That is crazy, right? I cannot tell you how many times I've eaten laksa wearing this lipstick and it's the same after. This looks really nice with this hair as well. It is literally a lip stain. How am I going to get this off? I should have done this one last. That was a struggle. I remember one time I accidentally dropped it while applying it to my lips and it fell on my carpeted bedroom floor. It was like, it still hasn't come off. So lastly is one of my faves. It's the Armani Lip Maestro in the number 400. This is also very similar to the Stunner Lip Paint. It's really pigmented, true, red oh, it's just so nice it is just such a good red you know so that's the one that i'm going to use for today's makeup look it is so easy to apply because it comes with the little cute applicator and the applicator is also really flexible so it kind of just glides on really easily the texture is like a velvety matte texture really soft on the lips and quite versatile like you can blot it blur it or make a really strong line i kind of like to just keep layering it on and using the tip to lightly blend out the edges and going over the lip line again. So good. You can leave it like this, but I kind of like to blot it out because I like my red lipsticks to be a little bit more matte. So, grab a tissue. And then that's done. Oh, the sun's coming out. So that is my bold red lip look and a little review on my favorite red lipsticks. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time.